That's weird. Where's the preview? Seems like it's working. Okay. Well, let's continue, shall we? Just got a few more panels, and I don't know if we actually have any more panels. Accumulators to drop off. Oh, we do have more panels. Fantastic. Don't forget the substations either. I think if we fill out the rest of this, that should be more than enough uh, to keep this planet going. Then we just need to go back to Narvis and build a nice neat block to send the uh, delivery cannons. Or the shells, rather. Away goes the Vulcanite. We're up to 7.5k. I think by the time we go back, we're going to be getting pretty close to a train load. Uh, let's grab some more of these, and these, and back to placing them. I want to design some nice discreet little blueprints to supply individual planets, um, but I don't know that I can necessarily make them fit well in the rail blocks. Maybe they could take like a quarter of a block or something. And away go the butts again. Actually, it uses up so much charge, let me try and pick them up. Might save a little bit of time. And we just ran out of accumulators again. Hey, Robust. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And I guess since we've got so many flat solar panels remaining... Well, no, I think this is actually, like, way more than enough. We can probably take the rest home. Uh, with our present production system for these, uh, they do take a while to make. So I'll drop these in here. Why is this... Why are we not putting scrap into... That's a bit weird. Oh, because there's no actual inserter there, that's why. Uh, where are my inserters? Hmm. 
All right, how about that solar? And grab the accumulators. I think that's actually the last of them. And then we can finally get off this rock. That is finally just about everything. Just a few little purple spots left. Okay. 82.3 gigajoules of storage and way more solar than we need most of the time. I think that'll do. All that's left to make sure this planet stays self-sufficient is... Well, not self-sufficient exactly. Uh, we need to send barrels and steel and stone brick. Oh, did I add that to... Yeah, good. Oh, and probably iron plate as well. Uh... Where does the iron plate go? Here. Okay. Let's put all of this in here. And... I don't suppose we really need to take the stone back with us. And recycle that. Wait, what? Where is it? May as well just leave that rocket fuel there. Uh, actually, delivery cannon is exactly the sort of thing that I might want the bots to be able to build. Okay. Turn off my requests. Leave all the inserters here. And I guess the chests, belts, type. We're not going to need centrifuges. That should just about cover anything that I might find occasion to build remotely. Oh! Oh, 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 I almost forgot. Um, glad I was running through all those things double-checking. We need to set up some defenses around this. And take a peek inside. Hey, Creakly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, where's my wall? There we go. Actually, that should probably be a bit further out. That's going to be more than I've got just for one of these, isn't it? 52. Um, let's get some power poles over here. Hello, don't forget to save before entering. Ominous. Hey, mess. Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, why do I have no big power poles? Surely I didn't just happen to use all of my big power poles. They're not in here. 
And they're not here. I know I had most of a stack of them somewhere. Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Okay. Over there. And then... I think we'd be better off with more of these over this way. How many lasers do I have left? Zero. Oh, that's fine. That should do it. All right. Uh, anything else I should be doing here? A couple more lasers. I guess I could whip out the railgun. Put some shields on instead of... Uh, roboports. Lasers. Probably more lasers. And then, I think that's about it. Anything else I need to set up over here? Solar panels are done. Wait, I thought I saw a little purple spot here. Nope. Uh, this whole build is done, except for some inputs from cannon shells from another planet. Oh, I think this is it. Let's give it a save, then. And let's see what's so spooky about... Well, God! Okay. I did indeed see... They can't come out. Um, this might be tricky. I can't... You're... You're joking. That... <laughs> You've got to be joking. I couldn't move at all. I was literally just peeking my head in to do, like, a second of laser at a time. And then the entrance was, like, three tiles behind where I got teleported into. So... Yeah, that's... Can I go in from a different angle? Nope. Barely got out. What am I supposed to do about that? Hey, Evil Plur. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I suppose I could use more shielding. Jump in and jetpack immediately. If it'll even let me jetpack while I'm in there. I'm not going to be able to fast hand some lasers in there. And even if I could, where would I get the power from? Maybe if I could go in there with a Spidertron, it'd help. But... That's not really an option. I can't really jetpack. Okay. Alright. I think... I think that's the strategy, because that's literally all we can do, is just keep ducking our head in there until a few biters die. And if I don't use the jetpack, I seem to get stuck completely.
This is going to take a minute. What could be inside there that's so worth protecting, I wonder? Yikes. I don't think we can really sacrifice much else for more firepower or shielding. It's not like I could have run around in circles and made sure there was enough room. Maybe I could drop... If I had bio gun, that would help. I could fire a rail gun when I get in there. Maybe if you reload, you can jetpack inside when there are no biters in the door immediately? I don't think it'll help that much. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. Okay. Whoa, 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 didn't mean to do that. Running out of energy pretty quickly here. Uh, I'm... S I never would have expected this, but I'm rather surprised, uh, rather sad I didn't bring the bio gun with me. Uh, capsules would be helpful, I suppose. If I spammed the maximum number of destroyer capsules, that would probably make a pretty big impact, assuming they can come in with me. Yeah, I think we're just going to recharge our shields, jump in, fire the railgun once or twice. A hey, Mucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many railguns does it even take to kill one of those things? I should adjust my aim a little bit so we get the spawners. Now that's a spawner down. I think the next one's this direction. I think it just fired twice with the uh, jetpack twi twick. Jetpack trick. I've seen that with rockets before. Activating the jetpack uh, refreshes the uh, the weapon cooldown. Yeah, I can definitely fire it a couple of times. I'll aim for the other spawner first. I think I fired it three times actually. Over here. I think that's all the spawners. Or at least the ones we can see from the beginning. And I think the amount of damage they're doing is getting a lot less as well. I might be able to get past them soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hey, fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I should really not bother with the lasers for now. They're not going to be... They're not going to be there for long enough. Can you kill it with fire? Unfortunately, I didn't bring any fire. At least the railgun's coming in handy. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's getting close to the point where I'll be able to jetpack past them and get the lasers to do something, I think. What's inside? Necrons. I mean, biters. Alright, um, we kind of need to recharge the batteries. 
Once it gets low enough, I'll go full RTG, wait for these to recharge, put in some lasers and see what I can do. I should aim for the spitters. That was a little bit close. And... Go. I guess a piercing shotgun would be pretty good here. Not normally my weapon of choice. Oh yeah, we're definitely at the point where lasers can start to accomplish something. But first it's time to recharge the batteries. About... 1% every 5, 7 seconds or so. Time for multiple suits? I don't know about that one. Also, if I can place some walls between myself and the biters, that might be pretty helpful. Um... Twenty percent. What should I do in the meantime? It's not like I can whip up any military surprises in the time that it takes to recharge the batteries. But when we get back to Narvis, I think I will... Uh, manufacture a few more military things. Piercing auto shotgun would have been amazing here. We're about half, well, 30% charged. Let's see if this can accomplish anything already. Oh, here we go. There's a few more of them, but that's okay. Got to get the spawners. Fantastic, we're in. Oop, don't lose all my energy on the spit. What is this? And what is that? It's a efficiency module. Is this like Indiana Jones? If I take it, is something bad going to happen? Wait. Efficiency Module 9? That's not what I was expecting. Ancient Container. Let's make sure we get the rest of the spawners. Well, it's just one module though, so... It's going to take a lot for that to make an impact. I guess it needs to be placed on a beacon somewhere. Pretty unlucky, it could have been a Productivity 9. Rip. Um, I can't actually jetpack through this, either. I don't see any spawners up there, so... It's not like they're posing a continuous threat. Well. That was disappointing, not gonna lie. Minus a thousand percent energy consumption, though, is still pretty neat. Yeah, that should probably... I mean, if it's up against 
speed and productivity threes, that's just going to push it down to the minimum energy consumption every time, right? That's minus 500% if it's... Um, well, if that... If it's in a if it's in a beacon, it'll put it down to minus five hundred percent, which we could definitely go beyond plus five hundred percent. So it's not even that amazing. Is it first pyramid? Yes, indeed. Uh, Ubiskif, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't suppose there's any more of these on the same planet. They're probably a once per planet deal. Cole keeps tricking me into thinking I see another one. I guess we can take these with us. Um, with RoboPorts. I suppose we can stop requesting regular RoboPorts now. Time to check Informatron in this case. Uh, does it say anything about pyramids? Well, in any case, I think we're just about done on this planet. Let's get ready to go back. Last chapter. Exploration journal. Woke up on the wrong side of a fireball. Launch a satellite to infinity and beyond. Relic hunting. I entered a cavern beneath the pyramid-shaped Retusan of Muriel and found a dark and dangerous chamber. Two ancient cartouches on the ground. Cartouches? Is that the big circle? Yeah. Multiple glyphs on the surface along the... with other, other surface and lines. Okay. Task satellites to find similar structures. I suppose we can do that. There's one on Morpheus? I thought we went to Morpheus. No, I think that's wrong. Morpheus is... Where is Morpheus? Or was that in another system? I guess it must be. Hey, Morpheus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh... Uh, Scrubbyt. Good to see you again also. Right. Uh, apart from the fear that I'll somehow forget something important, I think we are, in fact, done here. Probably time to go back to Narvis. Narvis landing pad. There's plenty of space left in here. I guess we could always take the stone with us. Don't really think that's necessary considering we have to delete excess stone all the time. Uh, we can keep the cliff explosives, that's fine. All right then, shall we go? Let's go.
and safely raining cargo pods. And we're back. Um, I need to upgrade the construction spider-trons to have better robopods, but I'm not terribly concerned about that just yet. Uh, main thing is... Okay, first things first, I do not want to forget to design a new system to uh, supply resources to each planet. Um, definitely don't like the block that was supposed to supply it to multiple planets. So, oh, we've already got a block down here. Or we could do... Does it need to be near anything in particular? I don't think so. I guess there's going to be a constant throughput of items from there, so it should be close to those items if possible. Since this is two of them, batteries are over here. Uh... Wait, we can't send batteries. It's heat shielding, LDS, copper plate, and explosives. I don't even remember where we're making explosives. Down here should be fine. Let's start with that block that's already there. And I guess we'll send the construction spiders over there as well. They've got some bots trailing them. Let's send them back to base. So I'm hoping I can fit this build neatly in a quarter of a rail block or something. We're also going to have to make a couple of slight variations on it. Let's start with this. And we'll probably end up mirroring it. Unless we want to just rotate it four times, that's fine as well. This goes here. Which means this goes here. Okay, so thinking about what we need to send to Mariel, we need to send the four resources to make delivery cunning capsules, plus iron plate, sulfuric acid barrel, steel plate, and stone brick. Maybe it would make sense to use logistic bots this time. We could fit all of this at one train stop if we use both sides uh, quite easily actually. We could do a train load of each even, so the bots aren't that necessary. Except how do you get this stuff out with belts? So really they are necessary. If we're going to bot it, it's going to be really straightforward. Um, so it's eight different items we need. Copper plate. Uh, iron plate. Explosives. Wait, let's do the... Um, Wait, what? Let's do the four resources for the cannon shells here first. And then iron plate, uh, steel, sulfuric acid barrel. Where is it? 
sulfuric acid barrel, and what was the other one? Stone brick. If I put things into specific chests coming out of the trains, then maybe... We really just need, like, maybe one steel chest for each resource. Four resources on each side. Oh, and we need to actually make the delivery cannon capsules as well. takes a little bit longer than five seconds to actually fire these things each time. We'll pretend it is five seconds for the purpose of the ratio. So we would need uh, like 1.3, 1.5 per second should be more than enough. Ten times this. That'd be if everything was being delivered just constantly at full speed, which is not what's going to happen at all. I think we'll just do a machine or two, give them speed modules, and make sure we leave some room for expansion and see how that goes. So some belts would be useful. Let's bring the train over here as well. We also need a uh, receiver dish. I kind of do want to use belts for this. be not difficult. The only question is how many of these can we fit in a rail block, really? Grab some belt. And probably would help if I take the other stuff. So that's going to connect to here. Would be a bit much if we could fit it all under one substation, I suppose. Okay. Should we do shared belts for any of these or... Well, first of all, we need one of these. Copper cable. It's going to be way too slow. It's actually not anywhere near as slow as I thought.
How rapidly are we going to need these delivery cannon shells, realistically? That's actually a good ratio. 0.125 per second might not be good enough. Why is this stopped? Is the target full? Oh. We're having power problems over here, so this isn't transmitting. That's unexpected. Um, is it because we've got no nuclear left? That's a problem. Uh, where's our uranium? We have a bunch of U-235 and 238 over here. It's just not getting turned into nuclear fuel. How can I have it so that it's accessible by the trains, but also... Gets turned into nuclear fuel cells. Hmm. And why aren't we getting enough uranium? Is Tolibai still sending stuff back? Uh, here it is. We're missing delivery cannon capsules here. Oh, okay. So now we're in a vicious cycle whereby we're not sending the signal to send uranium because we don't have power. Hmm. That's a problem. I wonder if I could uh, put this little transmitter in its own power network. I think that would probably be wise. How long has it been like this? A couple of in-game days. Solar panels, accumulators... I don't see any production by steam engines, really, in the last hour? So that stopped like an hour and a half ago. Interesting. Okay. What do we need here? 10 megawatts. It's actually quite a bit. It's not like I can just slap a few solar panels over here and connect it directly. We've also got actually quite a lot of uranium-235 here. Alright, it's, on, it's only 4.4k, but still. Um, I could always just... I really kind of painted myself into a corner in terms of designing this to have the 238 available. If I really want to, I could have the rail network drop it back up here somewhere. Like here, even. Well, not quite there. Considering there's 80,000? Okay, that's the part that really needs a redesign. How am I going to go about this? 
There's 80,000 U-238 down here. It's just not up here where it's useful. But I do want some of it to be available for the rail network. Just be thankful you have pushed back the biters. I ran out of power when I was only using lasers for defense. Rip. I can't remember for sure, but I think... Oh. I was going to say we've probably got some power switches so that the walls are prioritized, but it looks like I haven't done that everywhere. So that could be bad, although this is one of the reasons why I've got all three types of defense here, including gun turrets with uranium ammo. What I'd really like... I want this to be available to the rail network, but I want it to also be able to continue past and come back up here. I think, honestly, the solution to that is just to have a train stop um, that'll drop off 238. Put it into this network here. Of course, if I drop it on either side of this belt, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we should probably merge it in here somewhere. Um, like here. If I could only fit a train stop here, that would work. Or we could do it like this. That should be pretty easy, actually. Uranium-238. And... Let's do the usual... How does this one work? Uh, I'll grab the blueprint, actually. This will be right side. Nope, I was wrong. Left side. Combinatorless balanced unloader. This part's a little bit of a problem. That should be fine. Can I put... That belt can't go anywhere. So we'll have to do this. And then bring this down here. Add some requests for two thirty eight. Oh, that does not look good. Uh, it's not nighttime already, is it? Oh, it is. Huh. Well, I hope we're not getting attacked right now. Alright, that's good at least. There's a train on the way. And now all we need to do... Apart from give this some power. Is figure out how we're going to sensibly have it limit its input here. Um, I suppose as long as we've got... Uranium-238 
on this part of the belt or this part of the belt right here that sh should mean we don't need to add any more for the moment It's just going to be uh, 238 less than 4, I think. Since it's going to be a half belt here. Read belt contents hold. That should do it. Where's that train? Is it waiting for power? Yeah, there we go. I was afraid it was going to run me over a moment ago. Oh, and we should definitely have an input priority from the right side there. And once... Uh, once it saturates down to here... Wait, why did it stop? Uh, because I messed this part up. How does it normally look? Wrong side. This normally has a splitter here. I am confusing myself. Um, I need some, like a blank space to look at this more in more detail. This goes past a splitter. Which was prob probably the chain signal was in the way. Yeah, that splitter is normally where that chain signal is. Can I move all of this forward a tile? I think I can. Like... Wait, what? Still confused. That goes to there, that goes there. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, you actually merge with this one. Which means... I can't put it here or here. That goes there. And then you... I don't think there's room to do this. Which is weird, because I'm sure I've done it before. Um, this one's a bit different. That doesn't have the usual merger. I don't think I can find anywhere where I've done it that way. Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's... That's it. I just haven't had like a splitter afterwards. And then like that. I think that's 
Uh, there's no... Can I move this over a tile? No. How did I do it? Where was that little example that we were looking at? Okay, let's copy this and superimpose it over this part. The splitter is actually where the chain signal would be. I think I moved the chain signals to make this happen. Which, yeah, we can definitely make that exception. Okay. So splitter goes here, this goes here. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I think I know. This thing is, this whole station is a couple of tiles to the right of where I would normally do this. All right, that, well, we're merging it all into one belt anyway, so all I really have to do I'm going to have to move this substation, I think. And these two merge into this. These two merge here. And then... I guess like that. It's not exactly pretty, but it'll do. And we need that substation with the wire back in place. Also going to need to move this tile so that we can have that belt there. That should do it. The other option is to have the left belt go under the rails and meet on the other side. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. Um, it's just a line I don't want to cross. Right. And then this goes here. Once this gets saturated enough. And then once this part is full, it'll stop dumping 238 from the train station down here, and it'll only come from the raw uranium. And that'll give us our fuel back, which is desperately getting taken to... Not the nuclear plants, apparently. There it goes. That's what we want to see. It's alive. Fantastic. Oh, and this one's already alive as well. That didn't take long. And so we've prioritized uranium fuel cells over having 238 down here. Why have you stopped picking up 238? Sixteen K. This is a bit weird. You're full. You're very much not full. Don't we have a balanced loader here? How did this happen? Well, this should be a relatively easy fix. I 
going to get full or no? Not quite. I suppose that one can stay there for now. So we do get some U-238 going around in circles, but it shouldn't be that much. Since this belt stops once this is saturated. I guess we don't need to priority split this one if this here has a priority split. It'll be 50-50. Alright, cool. Hopefully that won't be much of an issue. Now, back to what we actually wanted to design. What is this doing here? Oh, that's right. There's an illustration. Now, um, if we have eight resources we need here, four on each side, I guess we could have four chests for each of these. Although, they're only going to be taking up one side of the belt if I do it like that. That's probably fine. We could do it this way. Uh, let's see. Copper. Explosives. Heat shielding and LDS. And can't exactly merge them, uh, but I do need to split them. Yeah, we do. Uh, these two go here. And these two go here. Let's move all of this up a little bit. I was going to put it there, actually. Like so. This goes here. Suppose we could probably bring this around like so. And that doesn't quite reach, unfortunate. I'm sure we could neaten it up a bit, but that's sort of beside the point. So this belt is copper and explosives, and this belt is 
Eight shield LDS. And then I just caught myself realizing that's only one cargo wagon. But that's the basic idea. How compact and neat can we do this? If we merge them all. Not very necessarily. Maybe if we mirror this and bring these together. We could start with this. And bring these together. I don't like where this is going. Maybe we could split them up a bit more. Or we could just accept using half a belt for each of them. 22.5 items per second is maybe enough for each resource for one planet. I should think it probably is. Really starting to get the feeling I should just use a robopot for this part. But I don't really want... To spam butts. Maybe the shed belts do make a lot of sense. Uh, whoops. Why? Why is my personal RoboPort not prioritized when I do things like that? If we do it like this, um, we can't really merge. We can, actually. I, I think. That doesn't work. What if I move this over a tile? And we could put that not over there. If I do this, it's going to mess up the sides of the belt, right? How do I do this? I don't want to take up this much room to make this happen. Might be necessary. I feel like it shouldn't be this uh, difficult or space consuming just to merge all these things together. Maybe we could do some belt weaving? Not really. It's... Do I not have robots? Alright. Construction spiders, get out of the way for now, please. I'd much rather have this be a lot more responsive. Um, if we have... That's three belts. Trouble is we need four. What if we do it like this? 
That goes on this side, that goes on this side. And then the same thing again. Except this would go here. I think that might work. And we can just repeat that. Nope. Nope. A Django Games. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so copper on this side. Explosives on this side. Heat shielding on this side. LDS on this side. Um, and we can do a balanced unload. Yeah, that, that works, right? We don't need that much throughput, but we need to make sure, um, does the LDS inserter pick up from the chest? Oh, whoops. I guess we could just do it like that. And there we go. I think that's it. Same for the copper. Uh, oh, damn it. Yeah, that would have been too easy, wouldn't it? There's no way for me to get the copper from here to the opposite side of this belt, is there? Damn it, I thought I was so close. Unless... Unless what? These two are fine, so hopefully we can stick to that design. Are you using AAI warehouses? You could use a 2x2 two two strong box. I am unfortunately not using that mod. Uh, what if I... Damn it, I can't do it that way. This is surprisingly tricky. I could separate them by a tile or two, if that helps. Don't know that it will. Like... If we do this twice... Oops. But then... Have an underground belt. Does that work? Let's uh let's have a look. What an odd looking contraption. It just barely doesn't fit. Unless doing it like that. Is that going to put something on this side of the belt? We get some power. Okay, that works, actually. Yeah, I th think that might be it. And bonus points, there's room for substations. Uh, this part again has to go over here. What a weird looking unloader.
belt weaving maybe red blue belt if you don't need the throughput that might end up looking a bit prettier that's a good point um except if we're going to use long arms the distance has to be the same Let's see. Uh, one, two, two. So it would be something like this. I kind of need to know which side that ends up on. And then, do we have any red undergrounds over here? Well, I guess we have to count on this going to the desired side of the belt regardless. Okay, that works. In which case, this can be like that. That's wrong. It's not going to get any smaller, I don't think. So... Not really worth using belt weaving, I suppose. Nope. Nope. Vyacheslav, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pink pajamas, welcome, welcome. Separating the copper and explosives will work. Copper and explosives. Oh, the way this corner is done. Separating copper explosives and heat shielding LDS by one tile also works. Output like a T. Uh, output like a T. I don't think I understand. If we could get them neatly to have their own belt each, I could probably live with that. That'd be one more tile here using only fast inserters. How do? I don't see how that could happen. You could also use splitters to merge the belts and avoid having to use the full length of the long-handed ones, but it ends up the same as now anyways. V, does that help? Uh, I don't think I understand, sorry. Uh, just, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, this will actually work, so... I don't suppose there's any reason not to use it. I don't suppose also we're going to be able to fit it on this side, just barely. Except that... Uh, chain signal might be in the way. Let's see, if we do... What four resources is this going to be? It doesn't really matter. If we do it like that, and we output this like so, is that going to go on the far side? It is. Fantastic. C-E-H-L? 
Copper Space Explosives Heat Shield Space LDS. Uh, let me have a look. Copper Space Explosives Heat Shield Space LDS, like that. Oh, we could always just merge them like this, I mean. Yeah, and then we have to... So this takes up six tiles, so these will be right next to each other. And then we need splitters to merge them. Which means... Every second one of these, we're doing it like this. Give me some more undergrounds. And then, how do we merge this one? Is I don't suppose there's room. There isn't. Slip this in here, maybe. And then copper explosives goes here. And something similar over there. This is getting kind of big. Yeah, we're not going to have room to do the usual sort of inline merging like we do here, I think. Even if it's even if we're only limiting it to one belt. Wouldn't there be a one tile gap between all of those? Isn't the train cargo wagon six tiles long? And then there's a one tile gap between them? But this is six tiles if there's a gap between each pair of resources. Um, you can see it here. Oh, there's a, there is a one-tile gap between them. Okay. Uh, in that case, this might become a bit more viable. Let's just delete this for now. Make sure we don't overcomplicate it. Uh... I don't know how much easier this is going to make it, but let's suppose it's going to be like this. And then can we merge these two? Then bring that over here. So far, so good. I'm gonna laugh if I end up building this in a way that even if there wasn't that one gap, we would have found room for it. Uh, unfortunately, this does need to go down at least one more tile. And so that's like those two. This one's going to have to be somewhere like here, I think. Merge there. And then... Merge over here. One, two, three, four, five tiles down. I think this is not going to fit on the other side. Yeah, it's way too big. Well, it was worth a try. And put the splitters on the same line and add the new input at the top slot for the splitter. Uh, let me have a look at that. So... 
this goes here. I think I, yeah, I was too used to doing the other build. Since we don't have to get two full belts, um, this is actually good enough, right? I think. Well, that doesn't need a splitter. So that's copper and explosives. Alright, that works. And then this one's just going to need to be one tile down this way. There's no way we can fit it so the undergrounds are up here, is there? Maybe if this splitter didn't mess up this corner. So we'll put that down here. And... Uh, I think these are all going to be the same-ish, right? Uh, in Cub Maddie, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Belt weave with reds. We already looked at that. Uh, I think this will be okay, though, actually. So this is four tiles sticking out after the inserters. I don't think we can fit that either. We can just barely not fit it. Can we reduce the vertical size of this by one tile? If only that corner didn't get messed up by that splitter, we could put the undergrounds up at this height. Yeah, I don't think this gets any smaller, does it? Work, work, no worry. Okay. Well, uh, any other ideas? We should still be able to underground on the upper side. Uh, the thing is, if we do that... Okay, let's just move this splitter up here. And we look at undergrounding on this side. Hang on. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I don't want to get too excited, but... Is that actually working out the way it looks like? This goes to here, goes to here, goes to here, goes to here. It does. And the spaghetti is glorious. That's slick. <laughs> Thank you. Instead of output belt, output right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm definitely a lot happier with this look than this thing. Nice. And then... That goes there. Hopefully the, uh... Chain signal won't... I think the chain signal... I think the chain signal is going to get in the way of this build, actually. I'll just copy it down here for the moment in case we lose it. In case we need it back. So that goes there. And it is, in fact, exactly where we would prefer it would not be. Um, but I think... I think we can fix that. Oh. I 
Hmm. E yeah, there's there's no room to make it work over here. What we might do instead is just have it output over here. And just bring those other two belts down this way. Might work pretty well, actually. And then... So just to be clear, iron, steel, stone brick, barrel. Iron, steel, stone brick, and barrel of sulfuric acid. We might end up swapping the order of these around, but that's what's going on that side. What a weird looking station. Really weird looking station. I don't think we're going to fit a substation in here is the only thing that makes me sad about this build. Uh, medium poles will have to do this time. And it's got to be so close to the big pole that we can't put it next to the chests. Unfortunate. Okay then. At least it sort of shows us where the edges of the carriages are. Excuse me. I don't remember deciding to delete one of these, but okay. We'll probably mirror this part, maybe. I'll just move this to the side and we'll maybe use it as a guide, actually. Right, so here we have a heat shield LDS. Well, no, that's copper and explosives, actually. Might have to swap them around. Copper explosives, heat shield LDS. Um, considering the shape of things. I might end up moving that the other way around. And again. If I... Oh, there's already room for what I'm thinking about doing. So, belt goes here. That goes there. And long arms. Go here. And we can just have... Our copper and explosives here. Where is it? Copper. Explosives. And heat shield LDS like so. That's pretty neat. And then on this side... Doesn't really matter which is on which belt. 
iron plate, steel, stone brick, and sulfuric acid barrel. Just like that. I am beginning to like this build. Wait, that's the wrong way around. Copper wire doesn't need long inserter input. Ah, oh, true. Thank you. And just to check. This whole thing would only use one uh, copper wire per second. Copper, copper plate. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so... Which is which here? We gotta swap them around. Nope, that was right the first time, I think. Iron plate and steel goes here. And stone brick and sulfuric acid goes here. And bonus points, the icons are in the same order up here as they are down here. That's pretty neat. Nice. Next we just find a nice spot for our giant dish. And this should be set like so. Sulfuric acid barrel greater than zero. Stone brick greater than zero. Steel. Iron plate. Copper plate. Explosives. And what are these supposed to be? Heat shield LDS. Low density structure. Lawyer crew. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. And we can get rid of this. This is a lot neater than I was even daring to hope it would turn out. Um, I think we're only going to fit like four of these per rail block though. Um, that could go there. Or we could mirror it. Might look better. And that goes there. That goes there. I don't really think we're going to fit another train station and set of these in here and make it look any good. And thank you for the bunk, I suppose. Drop some substations in. Um... If we must have medium poles, we must. Uh, 
And yeah, I think that's it. I kind of want to mirror it. I, I feel like that would look better if we do this on this side as well. It's going to be a little tricky. Um, I wonder if rail chain signal. Logistic train stop. Everything else is letting us flip it. Why don't we blueprint this? Get rid of those things. And flip. Now we just have to see where this goes. And don't forget the chain signal, regular signal, measure where the train stop goes. All right, where's that blueprint? Flip. Wait, it was already flipped. Not gonna have to worry about the. We've got a couple of pieces of the LTN stop in this blueprint. Um, so I can sort of see where that would normally go, but. Five and a half. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Right about where I thought. Let's make sure it lines up with the cargo wagons. It does not. Okay. I need to be a bit more careful with that. Wait, I don't think... Oh, there it is. Fantastic. And we can see from our handy medium poles that uh, they do indeed line up with where the cargo wagons go. Also, these medium poles could probably come down here for consistency. I guess we still need this one. And I don't love that wire going all the way across there, but I guess it's fine. And then... And then we just copy this and rotate it and put it down the bottom side. Okay, seeing how much space we ended up in the middle here, I kind of want to try and fit another one or two of these in the middle. We can definitely fit this. The only question is, can we get some more train stops to bring stuff in gracefully? And I think we can. So, first step... Why did it undo all of that? Uh, okay. Let's put this back. Why is there rail... Oh, I see. That's fine. Uh, first step is to add some rail coming up this way. We will have a couple of shared sectors here for the trains, but that's not really a problem. 
trains don't have to come that often. I think we'll just do one station on either side for this. Let's see how central we can get it. So we're actually going to be able to fit eight stations uh, with six different, well, sorry, six stations with eight different resources. Uh, if this build works out, it's going to be an improvement over what we were aiming for last time with much more discreet, easily understood and managed uh, blocks of delivery cannons. Now that we can see the limits of that stuff, figure out where the chests are going to go. Um, I think I'll just, as a visual aid, lay out Blocks of six. So that gives us two tiles here and three tiles here. That's as good as it's going to get. If that's the case, um, it's not like I can just copy this, right? Definitely not. The stations, though. I think I'll start by blueprint this, remove the rail signal in case I need to rotate it. Uh, that looks like it lines up. Oh wow. That literally could not be more snug. I'm actually shocked at how well this fits. There, there isn't a single tile to spare, and we're going to have room to do this. Perfect, indeed. Um, so we're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, is that going to mess up any... No, it looks fine. It's not going to change recipes or anything like that. This may end up being one of my finest masterpieces. Does it have signals already? No. Regular, uh, regular signal in, chain signal out. And this one should already be correct. We also need to... Wait, where am I? Have I used up all of my medium poles already? I guess it's not that surprising. 20 here. And 20 here. Wait, how many medium poles do we need? 64, so yes. I don't have the spiders carrying them, so... I'll go pick some up myself. Looks like these guys need to resupply anyway. Yep, 
if we're doing the version that uses uh, point defenses, it's only going to take fewer delivery cannons to make it work, so that won't be an issue. While we're waiting, let's send the military spiders on an errand. Like... Tidying up these expansions that have come back since they cleared them out the first time. I'm quite confident they can handle that without my supervision. Alright, that's our medium poles back. This does, of course, mean I'll have to add a rail block to make sulfuric acid barrels, but... Well, maybe not. Uh, I don't see where there's room for it, but theoretically... We could add a sulfuric acid drop-off here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, there's literally no room anywhere to do that. So I don't think we will. Unless... Okay, this is getting really greedy, but... If we had... Pumps here, they could go underground to some... Storage over this way? I feel like we might be pushing our luck a little bit there, but... Let's see. Well, I think the first step is to uh, build these out where they need to be, and then try and figure out... I don't think we're going to get it just by rotating what we've already built. We can't... we can only go one more tile in towards the center here anyway. This might actually be a problem. Uh, no, I think we can just move the dish. Because there'll be room for it here and here. So let's see. If this goes here... I'd like to find the middle to make sure this is actually in the middle. Uh, I suppose we need to flip this around. That right there is the middle. Copper and explosive goes here. Those are going to have to be swapped around. I haven't been on this stream for years. Are we still on Nalvis? Why isn't the progress bar progressing? I actually don't know. Um, it's only Bioscience 1, Astro, and Rocket Science. And we do have all of three of those here. For some reason the whole thing stopped. Uh, no Bioculture. We've got Biosludge. Uh, seems like we've run out of bioculture, nutrient bat. We've got nutrient bats. Oh. We're actually... Is this it? Did we make too many genetic datas and jam the whole thing? There's 4.8k here, so I think the answer is yes. Um, hmm. I need to make sure these genetic data get consumed uh, from... Is it this belt? 
as a priority. Um, that might be a challenge at this point. If we take them out here... Uh, yeah, we've run out of spaghetti. <laughs> But the problem is, uh, the problem appears to actually be that we've got too much genetic data. Hmm. I could always use bots to clear this up. Um. But yeah, I want to get the genetic data from here to here. And make sure it's a higher priority to be consumed. We actually need genetic data. It's coming in here. This thing net consumes genetic data, right? Yeah, it does. So... I think the step that I missed earlier was this. Uh, let's be specific. Genetic data has to be equal to zero for this thing to be operational. And then if we just have the bots remove some of these, this machine should be able to continue. And the loop starts again. And now we're just waiting on glass and iron plate to appear on this part of the belt. Logibots die over time on this mod? Yeah, they do. I'm more mesmerized by that delicious sushi. Yeah, it's a bit of a... We got a bit carried away with the sushi here. Um, when I made this... Oh, for some reason I was thinking sushi. When you said sushi, I was thinking spaghetti, but it's it's both. Uh, when I made this particular sushi bus, I thought it would get us more than, like, three types of science barely crammed into it. But here we are. Did I take enough genetic data to get this thing? Yeah, there's 43 slots available here. So, we're just waiting on glass. Why do I not see any glass on this belt? Because, for some reason, we're not sending glass to space anymore. That's weird. I can't remember where... Oh, I remember. Glass should be dropped off here. We've got glass. So why isn't it getting... There's no delivery cannon capsules? Or are we not receiving the signal? Red wire... I see the signal. Delivery cannon capsule glass. Uh, that's not glass, though. Where is glass? Here. The inserter is enabled. There's not enough glass in the belt. It sounds like this sushi system got confused about how much glass we've got. It thinks there's one glass on the entire belt, so that means it should be putting glass on the belt. So, oh, I think I set this up so that the glass has to be completely empty before it puts more on. It's 
So is there actually one glass on this belt, or is it not there? It must not be there. Okay, I know how to fix that. But we need to build a couple of combinators to make it happen. Uh, meanwhile, as for this build, it might be more convenient if we mirrored this, actually. Oh, I already did flip it around. Or rather, I flipped this part to match this part, which is maybe not what we want to do. All right, let's fix this first. Where's our counter? Counter is on the green wire. Okay. Oh, I've already got a, a pulse thing set up to input to here. Nice. So all we need to do is glass, negative one, turn it on for a moment, and we should see glass being put onto the belt, fantastic, and then eventually, once, once it completes its journey around here, uh, we should see it getting sent to orbit. I do wonder how that happened, though. Maybe it was because we had some power issues. This would be a great use case for... Well, no. It would end up taking up a lot of space. But other than that, it would be nice to use the splitter system. Um, like we've got over here. To limit how many items of each type we put on a sushi belt. The nice thing about this is it doesn't depend on power or anything like that. Um, yeah, we should start seeing some glass uh, getting sent into space. Oh, there it goes. They're kind of struggling to get up to a stack size though. This one will be first. Did they pick up all the glass? No, there's 48 left. Where is it? I, th I see it. Here it comes. So, once you get 100 glass... Away we go. Fantastic. That should get bioscience going again. Simple logic greater than, greater than complicated. When it comes to robustness, sure. If the simple logic breaks, you can fix it easily. Complicated logic breaks, it's a lost cause. I mean, that wasn't a lost cause, I just fixed it. But yeah, it is more complex uh, to fix a more complex system, obviously. Right, now we can see what we're doing a bit better. Um... I would very much like to flip this over. Like so. And this one. Like so. 
That's not going to line up well. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Hmm. I guess we kind of have to stick with that layout. It just fits too well. We could swap around uh, the resources, though. Let's see. Copper and explosives on this belt. No, it'll be the other one. Flip this stuff over. Again. Right, so this one's copper and explosives. Which means... We're going to have to swap those around. Uh, like this, I think. Copper and explosives... Goes here. Perfect. And here. And here. And here. And I don't know... I was going to say, I don't know that it matters. It definitely does. Um, wait, what? Oh, I see. Can we squeeze this through here? Nice. Just barely. Okay. So one of these belts is not like the other. Wait, what is that underground for? Oh, that makes sense. Swap those out for undergrounds. And... Which one's which? Sulfuric acid and brick... Goes here. This one. I'm not mistaken. And the other one by elimination is iron plate and steel. Uh, there we go. Iron steel, brick, sulfuric acid. Iron steel, brick, sulfuric acid. Okay. I think that's it. And it does line up with the train. Fantastic. And then... We can put this over the other side. I think we'll just remove these first. Actually, no, it should, it should fit on top of that. Yeah. Makes it nice and easy to see what we're doing. And plate goes here. Nice. And there's not quite enough. They're not quite lined up the same because of how train stops are coming from the opposite directions. I think I can live with that. And last but not least, 
we need these to be somewhat symmetrical. Move that down a bit. That's going to step on that one's toes. I think I can live with that. Hey, Seafika. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream today? Thank you for the raid. Alright, I feel like maybe separate those by a couple of times, just like we've done everywhere else. Hey, Veldap. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Alright, let's grab some belt. And some of this. I suppose, strictly speaking, I could have made sure these line up vertically or horizontally, but I think this is fine. Any plans for replacing the emitter at Calidus? The emitter? Isn't Calidus the sun? Did I just hear a spoiler? This does not need to spread here. T Hex will build emitters when needed. Sorry, he's memeing. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, where are we going to fit? Oh, we do have substations here. Just need to make them reach. And over here. Are they carrying cannons? They're definitely not carrying signal receivers. Uh, I can make three more cannons. Let's go get some more. Hey, the West too. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Well, I mean, these are the hard-hitting questions we need answers to. They're all a bit worked up, I apologize. Okay, no worries. Uh, I am very pleased with this particular build. Much, much, much cleaner than what I was working on before to accomplish the same thing. Uh, so each set of delivery cannons here is designed to support one remote planet and we've got everything we need to uh, produce delivery cannon shells and anti-media defense ammo if you were really apologetic you would not have ended the stream Leaving the poor people of Calidus in such dire straits? The people of Calidus? Right, so we need to actually set up the LTN stuff. I think I've got everything we need to place all the buildings now. Kind of weird that that rail didn't get placed. I still haven't replaced these. They've been waiting to be replaced for a very long time. Okay. First the cannons. And the rail. And then the LTN side of things. 
So this is going to be chopper, explosives, uh, heat shielding, LDS, requester. Don't forget we swapped them around in the middle. Gonna need some wire for these. And standard drop off station. Uh, we're just gonna request one train load for each item. I should probably set up a balanced unload first. Um, I don't think we need filter inserters for this, but what we will need is to connect all of these like so. Actually, let me just no, I will need to connect this first. Red wire goes here. And we're going to have to do a specific resource for each of these, but less than or equal to zero means... Sorry, greater than or equal to zero means greater than or equal to the average. Each divided by... How many chests is this? 16. Wait, no. There's going to be four chests per resource. So each divided by negative four, output each, gives us a negative average for each resource. If this is greater than or equal to zero for the specific resource, um, that's going to be greater than, greater than or equal to average, so we can output uh, Jiaok, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Explosives and copper plate. Alright, let's check that again. Copper plate, explosives, heat shielding, LDS. Cool. I think we're ready. But I think I'd rather do the other side before we call a train. What we really need is that meme of Austin Powers steamroller bit with the worker being factory workers wanting power to keep their houses warm. And then Seifer on top of this steamroller. I am a little bit concerned. Uh... I just realized we can use one combinator for all of these. Let's do that. Copy this part first. And this goes down here. And this... It's a little hard to see, but... All these inserters are going to be connected just like so. And I guess the easiest starting point for this is just going to be to copy that. And then we need to change that to sulfuric acid barrel. Uh, stone brick. Steel. And iron plate. And then this goes here. I think that's it. All right. Now there's eight different resources that we need to request one train load worth of. Iron, copper, copper, 
steel, stone brick, uh, these all stack to 50, right? Th this one stacks to 10. Explosives, heat shielding, LDS. Oh, and I kind of forgot to put the other... That's not connected, is it? No, okay, good. Uh, the other four resources being requested here. Iron plate, steel, stone brick, and... Sulfuric acid barrel. Wait. I forgot that I was going to consider... I don't think it's going to work out. I was going to consider making the barrels here, but I think that's going to be more of a pain. I mean, technically we definitely have room for it, but... If we... I didn't leave room for it here. I was thinking of having... some pumps for fluid wagons to output sulfuric acid and... Yeah, no. We'll just turn it into barrels somewhere else. I know it's not the most efficient way to store it, but we really don't need that much throughput. This is only to support the remote construction of media defense installation ammo. Uh, so this will be fine. Um, let me just double check what that stacks to. Sulfuric acid barrel. Ten. Okay. Uh, what's ten times one hundred and sixty? Sixteen hundred, of course. And I think we're ready. Should be a train coming pretty soon, especially with all those different requests. Uh, next is I can't just copy paste mirror this stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure. Well, this is mirrored, so I think I think if we do it like this, flip it around. LDS, heat shield, explosive, copper. And the top one's the same as well. Yeah, that should be all that takes. And then... Have the same thing over here. Oops. Uh, make sure we copy the station name. Fantastic. And then we need to copy all of that down here, which is going to be easy because we just have to rotate it. And kind of hard to... wait, what? Oh, okay. I thought the recipes were wrong on the cannons, but that's just a quirk of the cannon mod. Alright, let's place the combinators. And 
these ones are going to be a bit more custom. Uh, best to put the combinator between... The chests and the train stop. And what else? Red wire. Uh, iron plate greater than or equal to zero. Copy it down. Steel. Stone break. And barrel. Okay. And then we can copy those down here. Wait, what? Okay, careful. Use the medium poles to measure out where that's supposed to go. And then... Same thing over here. Explosives. Heat shield. LDS. And that should be that. And then, last but not least, wait, don't forget the combinator setting. And don't forget to make sure these chests are all connected to it. And also this goes here. We did the same thing over here. Yes, good. And then rotate, rotate in place. And then I just think we need to place a combinator. And last but not least, um, we need this combinator again. With red wire into here. Also, I need to update the train stop name. And then I think that's it. Does it actually copy the red wire? It does. Good. Fantastic. What are you waiting for? Oh, right. I could definitely make a minor improvement here by set, uh, splitting up these sectors. The entire thing is one big sector at the moment. And I don't think it matters on the sides. Well, actually it does, because um, the trains won't realize that this one's not blocking this one. So let's add a few more signals. And one more. Th 
That's not right. There we go. Actually, we shouldn't have regular signals on this side. We don't want to train using that as a hit stop. Oh, also I think I had that on the wrong side anyway. So that one should be a regular signal. And the rest over here should be chain signals. And then this one's a regular signal. And the rest are chain signals. Cool. I have prod module 9 in my labs. Nice. What do you get from that? Uh, let's see. Productivity. 9. Plus 20%. That's not as much as I was expecting. Oh, wait, that's for one module. Plus 8% is what we're at now. That's actually pretty huge, wow. So that gets you to plus 80% with a assembly machine. There must be an upper limit, right? Or no. Did you craft those modules? Why are those two-way tracks? Uh, they are two-way tracks because it makes it incredibly easy getting trains on and off uh, the rail. Uh, one downside of this build, it does take trains a long time to unload, but they're not going to have to unload very often here. Like, an entire train load of steel to go to one planet to, um, uh, just to make media defense ammo. It's gonna last a while. Cool. Oh, and I should probably... These ones are already connected. That's... Could look slightly better, but that's fine, I guess. I could probably stand to move all of these a bit closer. Will not fit. Oh, there's a tree in the way. What? Oh. Big on tree. It's not belong to your force. We'll see about that. Okay. So that's why don't we do it like this? And then up here. Like so. Now it's sticking through here. I can't win. Well, I guess that'll do. It's fine. And we need some green wire to here. Green wire to here. Fantastic. I suppose uh, nearby is as good a place as any to make those barrels. Anyone got an idea for an epic emote? Oh yeah, that reminds me, I've got a slot for an animated emote. Don't really know what I want to do with it yet. Maybe a waving one? Uh, okay. Wasn't there something I was waiting to do a little while ago? Let's get you to tidy up that. Uh... 
nice and safely. Uh, first things first, I think we'll set up our latest planet to be supplied by this thing. Uh, Maria. Papa goes here. And switch on. Maria. Explosives go here. Marry out. Uh, heat shielding. This one just needs steel and stone, right? Just want to be absolutely sure. Yeah. And Mariel LDS goes here. Mariel iron plate goes here. Steel goes here. Uh, stone goes here. And sulfuric acid barrel goes here. I forgot to set up some... Oh no, wait, I did. This is what re cycles the uh, the barrels. Fortunately, the recipe for uh, media defense installation ammo uses steel. And we just uh, put the recycled steel in the same chest as the delivery cannon is going to deliver to. And it doesn't deliver here unless this is empty. Cool. So what's missing here? Why are we not already making... Uh... Oh, I see how it is. Copper plate is getting delivered over here while there's none up here. Brains are just going to go up around a bit at first. That's fine. And I can't remember which other planet... Oh, here we go. So that's Marielle. We also need to do Taser and Hagen. Uh, Taser though... Oh wait, Taser and Hagen I set up receiving coal and steel for the ammo. We're gonna need to change Hagen at some point. But I won't mess with it for now. What about Taser? Taser's the same deal. Uh, it's a bit late now, but what I could have, should have done is set this up. Well, I could because we don't have um, sulfuric acid barrels in the rail network yet, I could change this to receive coal instead of sulfuric acid barrels. Although, as far as Taser goes, everything does fit under the umbrella of the point defenses. Why is there no power here? Oh, right, we do have power. It's being managed. Okay, that's good. Uh, so for Taser, it would make sense to... to set this up right now. We haven't received the barrels, of course. So, coal. One train load. And just have to change these. 
and this one. Copy that wherever we see barrel. And then... What was the name of the planet? Taser. Did I set this already? Yeah. Taser DC chest. Uh, change this to coal. Fantastic. And we're gonna have a couple of cannons that we don't need. I could always change it so that both of these are coal or both of these are steel or something. It's a bit late anyway. Uh, so. Our target is... Taser. Oh. Hold on. Iron, explosives, heat shielding, LDRs. This is nine things. I didn't think of that. Hmm. We actually need to send nine things to Taser. Uh, I suppose... I can obviously fit one more cannon here quite easily. But the question is of... Uh, bringing the resources from the train here. Did I set it up so that small trains can bring... Uh, uranium? Let's have a look. I did. We could have just one station here, uh, one cargo wagon here, pick up uranium things. That's not gonna... There's nowhere to get that out, is there? I could do a little baby station here. It's gonna be a bit ugly, but it'll work. Hmm. Uh, no, we need another cannon, so it's not like I can just use space for iron or stone brick. Is there really no way to get one more resource out of one of these cargo wagons? Pretty sure... Oh, I see. I'd have to take it out directly and then put it in a chest. That's pretty ugly, but it'd work. I guess we can put this here. Here. Uranium and uranium. It's actually two resources we need as well. Hmm. I wish, I wish I'd thought of this before building this entire thing that I was so happy with. Okay, worst case scenario, I can put a train stop here. We can get cargo out of the wagon there. Bring it over to these two.
Oh, I should probably... Excuse me, I should probably blueprint this thing before I get carried away. Um, actually, I don't want to copy those settings. Like this. And... Wait, what? Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't change the recipes. Stone brick goes here. If I, uh, if I make a blueprint of this now, it's going to include the... It's going to include the settings for the delivery cannons and stuff. I think I'll save that for later. Uh, 3x con, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just me or spinny circle? Spinny circle? I think our spiders are st oh. Nope, they're fine. Finished their little job down there. Okay. Well, I'll set these up anyway. Taser. That goes here. Switch on. These are goes here. Oops. Teaser to here. Teaser to here. Iron plate. Goes here, and then, wait, is it actually eight types of items? No, I'm sure I didn't. We need the main four. Oh, we need coal for the uh, media point defense, that's right. Okay. Um, I think I'll put the... Uranium's here, side by side, and we'll have those share a belt. And then we just have to get coal in. So we need to change the stone brick and... Uh, it was sulfuric acid. Stone brick and sulfuric acid needs to become... Uranium. And to do that, we need to change these. And then this goes here, and here, and here, and we've got a whole lot of stone brick we need to remove. I could go put it in some of these other chests, I suppose. Except I think all the stone brick's been delivered by now. Hey, we've got cannons anyway. 
cannon shells. Your photo as an emote. That sounds scary. Um... Okay, I need a trash train to visit. That's only going to have one cargo wagon. What I might do is grab a train. It's not trying to go anywhere at the moment. Oops. Get it to park here. Wait for a long time. And I'll chuck all the stone in there. And it'll get put back into the train network. Like we're almost there. And we just need to pick it up from here. You can go back. So that's everything sorted except for coal for this one. And if we could just... If I use a filter inserter... Over here... I don't think we have any spots... Uh, any places for pickup for coal that'll do a short train though. Oh, and here's another piece of that puzzle. I don't remember what I was automating. Here, 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 and here. Something kind of small that needed to go into the rail network. How do I get coal here? Without it looking really messy. Is it just too late, or would it have been too difficult to make that happen without adding bots or something? Like, we've, we're already at the limit, four different items from each cargo wagon on each side. Looks like inserters for Greeb science packs? Green? Green science packs? Oh, I haven't actually done science in the rail network yet, but yeah, that's a point. I think it was something required for um, the capsules for big rockets, maybe? What is this for? Oh, I never set up this station for this one extra cargo rocket. Oh, that's for the whatever it's going to carry. Okay, cool. The rocket itself is ready to launch. Yeah, I don't remember where we're producing. Um, it's probably just in a robo network. Uh, that we are producing capsules, space capsules. Yeah, I really don't see a way to squeeze coal in here, unfortunately. Except if we use 
some bots. That would do it. I guess I'll make an exception this time. Uh, this should be a filter. Coal. And... Then we have to report... I think, th I think it's fine if we just connect these wires, actually. There's four chests for coal, just like everything else. Yeah, that won't affect anything. Uh, and then we need a row... That might be harder than it sounds. Nope, that's fine. Quest a chest. Uh, this is going to have to go over here. And this is set to coal. I need to update these two. And possibly these ones. Nope, they're fine. This should say coal. And then... Quester chest. Well... Give it a few logistic bots. Uh, I suppose they're eventually gonna die. The bot attrition applies to the entire planet, right? Not individual robo-networks. I'll just have to check up on this eventually. Um, and then... Request call again. That'll do it, I suppose. Blueprint make first. Uh, well, the thing is, I'm gonna have to... Alright, let's just blueprint what we've got for now. I'm gonna have to edit it to get it back to having all the defaults. So there's no targets or anything um, for the cannons or the satellite dishes. Um... So I'll do that in editor mode. But other than that, yeah, we should probably blueprint it sooner rather than later. Uh, six times. And maybe when I jump into the editor, I'll find a way to squeeze coal in as well. And the uranium and stuff. Uh, six times... BC array. Space exploration. What did I miss? Uh, a new cannon distribution? Yes, indeed. El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I am very pleased with this build, except for the fact that I forgot... Uh, so, what I built it for was... Just like we did on uh, Mariel, we've got endless solar fields uh, supporting media defense installations, and therefore we need... No, we don't actually need the solid rocket fuel anymore. Uh, there's eight different things we need sent to this planet. Um... So I've got those eight things right here. Uh, I had them all supplied by train and belt. And then got to this part, setting up for... What was the planet called again? Aza. And then remembered, oh right. This one's set up to use point defenses instead, because the entire thing is running off of nuclear. Um... So there's actually 
nine things that we need to send here. Which makes it a bit awkward trying to get the ninth item in. But this'll be fine, I suppose. I may just end up spending quite a while staring at it offline in editor mode and see if I can come up with something that works for both. It's obviously... Well, not so much for the middle ones, but it's pretty easy to squeeze in a ninth or tenth cannon for most of these. Uh, anyway, let's... Wait, let's just make sure these are all set. For taser. Uh, I don't think we need steel on taser. We do. Taser. Steel goes here. And are you ready to fire? Yes, just about. And away it goes. Oh, we do have steel here already. Wait, why is it still... It shouldn't still be requesting steel, should it? It's not. Okay. It's only requesting coal still. It's a... Uh... Uh, coal goes here, and that one's set correctly. Uranium, and uranium. Those are all set. Now, why don't we have coal here yet? We're definitely requesting it. Don't tell me there's no... Don't tell me there's no coal in the rail network. That can't be right. Or can it? That's a little bit concerning. It might be time to look at... Uh, is there such a thing as a coal core fragment? Core fragment crude oil. Core fragment coal. There is. And do we have that anywhere? I don't think we've found that yet. Didn't think the time would come that we'd actually run out of coal here, though. We always had to remove it um, as much as anything else. But there's no coal here. I wonder where it's all going. It would probably help if we repaired this coal mine. Let's go do that. See, thanks, no worries. Also, Broom, uh, Boomer, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Time to get our spiders back to work, I think. In Cub Maddie, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, also. Alright, let's see how many rockets they have left after that. Could probably stand to make some more solar as well.
Oh, these ones are empty already? Alright. That should at least help the cold situation for a while. I wonder if there's any other... Oh, there's a chunker. 8.3 million coal. And another one. 6.8. So I guess we'll, I guess for a uh, coal core fragments we would actually have to go interstellar. It's gonna be a little while before we do that, I think. What sciences are you at? Same as before. Actually, why are we not getting bioscience still? There's no iron plate here. Don't tell me it's suffered the same fate. It looks like it. Um, it's probably got the same problem as... Glass did. It says we've got 11 iron plate, and presumably there isn't any. So, what I'm going to do... I think I can fix this remotely now. Is just pulse that into the system. And then we get some iron plate. That goes in here. And immediately goes to orbit. And gets added to the sushi belt. Yeah, I think old accounts got messed up because we had power problems. I should probably... If I'm ever going to do a circuit system to count sushi items, I should probably put it on its own little power network to make sure it never loses power. Alright, there's our nutrient bats, and there's our biocultures, and biomass. Which makes bio sludge, which wasn't the problem right now. Where does the biomass have to go? Down here? Somewhere else as well, no doubt. Here it is. And I think those are the cards we've been missing. Yep, there we go. Alright, that should get bioscience going again. I think I stepped past our little coal mine that we were aiming for. Let's drop some miners. Power's not really a problem anymore. Might run out of stuff while we're here. Let's bring the bots, I mean the Constructortrons. Oh, and I kind of accidentally included the pipes as if this is mining uh, uranium. Let's just fix that. It 
goes easier once all resources are mined? Yeah, I imagine. That's why I'm looking forward to getting uh, at least a small ore mining outpost uh, fully automated for each resource. Alright, while those... Uh, All those spiders are on their way. Let's add a green stop. Don't think I've updated this blueprint in a little while, but it's probably fine. And I'm not even going to worry about getting more than 45 items per second here. Uh, it would help if I had some belt to play with, though. This goes here. And... Looks like so. And we don't need a splitter for that one. The spacing with the size of the big mining drills has to be deliberate with how conveniently the blue belts line up. Actually, we could let it be a little bit more than one belt. Substations go here. Connect to power. That'll do, I guess. And then... I have no medium poles, do I? Oh, because I don't carry enough for this build. I'll just remove that one. Uh, you know what? Substation spam. Go. And we're actually short on some productivity modules. But you have productivity modules, so what's the deal? It says here that some bots are trying to deliver them. Kind of weird. Got some speeds here as well. Don't really need that one. Uh, kind of do need that one. There we go. And is this set up properly? Provide stack threshold. Anything else? It knows it's got coal. We just don't have enough for a train yet. Perfect. Alright. Nice and easy. Let's check on our military spiders. They're not even scratched. And they've got a lot of rockets. Nice. I kind of want to see what happens if I put them straight through here. Hands off unless they get 
significantly damaged. Game just told me I have discovered all deep space zones. So you've discovered the entire universe? don't think they're gonna... Well, that's a pretty hefty base I just aimed them at. Let's see how they do. Wow. Okay. The front one which is all shields, is at 50% shield, but other than that, they're basically not even scratched. And in terms of damage beyond the shields, they're literally not scratched. Oh, they might just barely take damage. Nope. Even though I sent them... From one big base to the next, this one didn't quite actually take damage. Nice. That means I can... do things like this pretty much with impunity. As long as they don't run out of rockets, that is. I think there still might be planets and moons. Oh, I see. Right. Where are we off to next? Um, we've got Vulcanite uh, core fragments that we haven't set up a build for just yet. It's probably going to be the same shape as these ones. Which means we need 90 pulverizers. I don't remember. We've got 5 times like 7 here. That's not going to be enough. Let's get started on that, shall we? And let's check on orbital signs. Is that? Yep. If we're making uh, biological insights, we're definitely going to get all the way to bio uh, bioscience pack. We've probably got quite a few... We actually have no astronomic science packs, it looks like. What's the problem with those? I think I just saw that in Soda moving. UV... Which one's UV? This one? What are you missing? Observation frame? Oh, I just saw it. Okay, so it's just a bit slow at the moment. Except if it's only slow, then why is there... literally zero... astronomic science packs over here? Probably it needed glass or iron plate as well. Yeah, it needs glass. That makes sense then. Catalog go burr. Insight go burr. It's going to be wet. Cool. And rocket science never really has trouble. Okay, let's start by copying the Cryonite build. And then immediately making sure these are switched off. It was all on the 
coal. Oh, if we're not sending coal up there, that's a problem as well. Although... We haven't had trouble sending coal here, as much as we seem to have run out of it in the rail network. Alright, so this is going to be a vulcanite coal fragments. Fragment Vulcanite. Oops. Go Fragment Vulcanite. There we go. And let's see. Five to one to ten. It's just like Cryonite. Fantastic. 16 seconds. That's going to make it easy. And then we just copy this all the way across here. Don't forget to change this to Vulcanite. This stays the same. And this is Vulcanite pickup. And I don't think we actually have to change anything for this one. Oh. That was an easy build. Well, it's not quite finished yet. Oh, I should send this uh, train home as well. Not before I turn it around, if I can. Uh-oh. Oh, it can't go backwards. Um, I think... Yeah, I did a boo-boo. Uh, I'm going to have to manually drive it because of the way the signals are to turn it around. Noble Steed. Over to the train, please. Construction spiders. Finish what you started. And I think if we just turn these on now. There's probably 16k Vulcanite core fragments by now. Uh, there's 61. So yes. Shouldn't be too long before the train is coming. Fantastic. And that should give us all the Vulcanite we ever need. What was I doing? The train. Uh, manual. Drive through here. And go home. Fantastic. Uh, it would probably help if we finished this bit of rail right here. Considering I copy-pasted it from up here, you'd think there would have to be an error. 
but no, I think I just didn't copy paste a big enough section. Those look fine. And as soon as the spiders go up here, the train should come. No path. And path. Fantastic. And we're probably going to need uh, a new processing area for Vulcanite. We're going to be bottlenecked on that, I think, at this point. I remember we've got some Vulcanite process. Oh, there's no Vulcanite. That would probably help. We've got some here and some here, but not like a proper rail block. Why is there a single piece of belt missing in the middle? Make it two. Did they actually run out of belt here? No, you've definitely got belt. What's going on? Oh, it's probably like... dibsed by one bot or another or something. we have input all the way to here. Looks like it. Okay. Looking good. And that is 250 Vulcanite already. Uh, the inserters are looking a bit slow. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out balanced unloaders that don't, uh, that can keep up with four blue belts from four cargo wagons, uh, and I finally did it eventually. But um, it seems we've got a similar pro problem with loading as well. Well, they seem to be keeping up with this anyway. Won't be long till there's a train load of that. Uh, so what... Wait. Why didn't the spiders put the prods in here? If some of them still have productivity modules... Okay, they've basically run out. Let's send them home. Let's send me home. Get some prods and come back. What's going on here? Is this a problem? Looks like it is. Maybe there should be a splitter like... Like this, maybe? I didn't think this would be an issue because I... I'm pretty sure it's a little bit more than two belts. Um, 
Yeah, it's a little bit more than two belts of stuff that needs to come through here. It, it might actually be... I was going to say it might actually be the filter insertos that are the bottleneck here, but if that's the case, you'd think you'd see more stuff getting through to the, the loop here. Yeah, that could definitely be improved. But more to the point, we've got a good supply of Vulcanite now. Get rid of those. And I think there was something else. Oh, Holmanite. Um, that's right. We needed Vulcanite in order for Holmanite processing to happen. That was what triggered that massive side quest. So pretty soon we'll be able to see that in motion. Fantastic. And as soon as the bots are done resupplying me, let's head over there and refresh our memory. But don't forget to put these prod modules in first, since it's right next door. Oh, there's belt missing here. Well, that'll be the next job for the construction spiders. Looks like they're already pretty much resupplied. And I need to go down here. Military spiders need to have a party. Surprise party for the neighbors. Let's see how they do. Oh, they're taking real damage. Not a whole lot considering the base that they just walked into, but... That is actually some damage. If we make them go just a little bit more cautiously through that, should probably get through without another scratch. They are getting a bit lower on rockets and not firing them as fast now as well though, so gotta watch out for that. That's a weird sound. Alright, have I arrived at my destination? Yes, good. Uh, let's put a radar here. I want to see how well this pattern works. Pretty well, I think. Oh yeah, that's pretty effective. A hey, Zavoxifal, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, one more base, and then I think we'll have them go home. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad. 
Just waiting on some Vulcanite blocks. Uh, that's right, I tried setting this priority to a thousand. It didn't seem to help. Maybe there's an upper limit for the priority. Um, but yeah, we've got some infinite Vulcanite going now. Uh, shouldn't be too long before we see some, uh, some Vulcanite blocks arriving at this latest build. 12k here. Alright, good, that's already full. Fantastic. I guess I should make another rail block for Vulcanite. In fact, the build isn't that complicated. I think I got rid of my pulverizers, but the construction spider is a new button. I could probably just copy this. don't know how much better I'm going to make it than that anytime soon. Um, but what I really want to see is Vulcanite blocks delivered to this spot right here. Well, we may as well, while we wait. Vulcanite blocks right next to where they're needed makes as much sense as anywhere else. Copy this one. Change it up a little bit. I may end up changing the way we deal with the stone. It all depends on how we can lay things out. Uh, in a rail block. Also, we're probably not going to need very many steam engines. Actually, we could probably simplify it by just having an electric boiler somewhere. No, wait, this produces steam. Can an, can an electric boiler delete steam? Or do we need a steam engine for that? I do kind of like the symmetry of having two of these here. Let's start with our usual train stops. And... Over here as well. Isothermic can void? Isothermic. Oh, what's this? I barely remember seeing this thing. Requires liquid fuel with an energy value such as liquid rocket fuel to generate electricity. Simple and compact but lacks energy efficiency of larger steam-based systems. Right, I remember this. Designed for space. Actual fluid consumption depends on fluid fuel. Delete steam, use steam? Deleting things, tsk tsk. I was just considering it. We're probably going to produce so little steam out of this that just a single steam engine somewhere could get rid of it all. Except the only trouble is, if you're completely full on power, it won't get rid of the steam, right? Like, if there's enough um, solar for everything. There's no settings on this. Max temp, 1000 degrees. Efficiency, 75%. So this is just a worse uh, steam engine, right? Under the circumstances.
Can I improve on this layout? Let's do it horizontally, I mean vertically. Uh, we can't do a flippy flip there. Unfortunate. Can't flip these, can I? No. Alright. Blueprint. Remove the things we can't flip. Flip. And then... Place the unflippables. In the appropriate locations. Even though they're perfectly symmetrical. In this context. I said my steam... Send my steam to coal liquefaction seems to be enough. The trick you can do with the steam engine power is to have... Have it on its own power network. With a radar? Yeah. Um, I could have a power switch for all of this. It'd be nice to not have to bother with it, but it's no big deal. May as well let the bots do their thing here. Hey, it's the old... Uh, it's one of our old little forts. For the tiny little artillery wagon. Okay, so how is this going to fit together? Train stop goes here and here, I believe. Uh, let's see. Towards the middle. I might just merge and split all of these. We can't just flip this, we need a separate blueprint. And I wonder how many of these we're going to be able to fit, actually. We bring it all the way to the side. Make sure we power this up. I'm kind of doubting that we need more vulcanite processing at this point. No, we probably do. Or we will soon. Especially if it's going to prioritize putting the Vulcanite blocks over here. I'd rather just get that sorted out sooner rather than later. Uh, so... How quickly do these things consume? We can definitely support the crushed... Uh, wait, no, we can't. Wow, that's actually pretty fast. Um, a single blue belt going down here is not going to be fast enough. It's just as well, because we can't fit this whole thing more than two or three times. We can only fit it twice. Okay. So, if we have eight of these, that's actually 115 Vulcanite per second. I don't think we'll be getting that much, at least for now. Um, we could be getting it that fast from here, theoretically. And then we're only using like half a rail block for this entire thing. 
I don't like where that's going. Muted, indeed. Whoops. Uh, I just realized we've got some separate power networks here. Electrical... does it say... Can I find out, like, the name of this electric network? 768 steam turbines. 768 steam turbines. How are these different? This is 384, and this, I think, is 384. So... Uh... They seem to be on the same power network? Oh! What's happening? Accumulators are... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is consuming all of our power, all of a sudden? Core mining drills... I mean, we've got power management for the core mining drills. There it goes again. Oh wait, I forgot. This little thing is on its own power network, just like I was describing before. It's to ensure we get rid of the steam. A derp. That's your old network to just power the core mining. Um, yeah, it's more that there's a power switch here somewhere. I think this is it. Because we want to... Because we want this thing on its own power network, um, so that it can disconnect in order to make sure we get rid of the steam. So yeah, that's totally fine. Alright, good. So we're not still suffering from power problems. Um, so now the question is... If we go for 8 of these, or even 16... That doesn't look right. 115 volcanite per second. Could I maybe ratio it to consume all of this? That's four blue belts. Um... Okay, 16... Is 230. 12 is a bit short. We do get some vulcanite from sources other than our new vulcanite core planet. I think we'll just double this. That's 230 per second though. 
like 12 and a half of them is full blue belts. I'm a little sad I can't ratio this to... Wait, all of these are under the same... Beacon. I think if we mess with the beacon, we mess up the ratio, though. Net 0.92, net 1.5 crushed vulcanite. What if we efficiency this a little bit? That's actually even better. Oh, that's perfect. Just barely under four blue belts. Okay, then. Uh, beacon. Mostly speed. Couple of efficiency. And... Wait. What did we just... Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Right. So this whole thing twice is gives us a surplus of like more of this stuff than I wanted, but I think that's okay. Now that we've lined all of this up so it uses four blue belts, uh, let's get this in the middle. And then... Is it actually going to be a problem if I do this in line? Are we going to get a belt that's too full? How many machines is this? 32? Uh, 73 Vulcanite blocks per second. So that's going to need to move over a tile. And considering everything else is direct inserted, I don't think we're going to have any other issues there. Uh, we get considerably less stone that we have to worry about than washed vulcanite. Why have they got such a problem with those floating bots? There you go. Probably help if I had more power for my poor little butts. We seem to be running low on productivity modules for some reason. Uh, there's still a lot of them over here. Let's bring the train over. And do we have our Vulcanite here yet? No. Why not? What are we up to? 5.8k. Don't tell me there was another delivery. Uh, this is provide priority 100. 10k. 
It's going to be a minute. Uh, we're not going to need anywhere near this many steam engines. Quite sure of that. Which of you are carrying prod modules that you're not dropping? Wait, this one needs prods, so the answer is none of them. So where's the train? Here it is. Away we go. And the bots can actually reach everything. Fantastic. So I think all we're missing here at the moment is steam engines. Let's remove those for the moment. Rate calculator tells us we're going to get 126.98 steam per second if this is all going full speed. All right, so call it 130. Um, this consumes only 30 per second. Uh, we could use a couple of steam engines and uh, steam turbines instead. But we just need five, call it six of these. We'll do eight in the middle for the symmetry of it. Unless... These consume 60 per second. We would need three. That's no, that's no more even or symmetrical. All right. Uh, those two don't need to be connected, but these ones do. guess we could just do it like that. Actually, we won't need to hop over it with underground belts if we connect it up the top. Electric boilers make the steam. We need to remove it. Why steam engines and not electric boilers? Yes, that's correct. With such an insignificant amount of steam, um, if I could simply delete it, I would. It's a lossy process. You can remove it with another boiler. Uh, don't think I have anything on me so I can handcraft it right now. Uh, let's get the bots to help us. Put a couple of boilers here. And we'll see what we can do with the recipes. Uh, so how much input did we need? Four blue belts, right? Which means we should merge them all here. Start with this. And remove these two. please what is mod uh the mod is space exploration we've also yep thanks el Pancho. we've also got a couple of quality of life mods uh but mainly it is a mod pack called space exploration 
Wouldn't a lossy process just leech off of main power anyway? That might be a good point. Alright, so we can set it to delete water, or make steam out of water. And we can't make, like, water, uh, steam back into water or anything. Uh, Honiyaki, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I can't believe we're still waiting on those Vulcanite blocks. Um, although we should have quite a lot. We do not have quite a lot of Vulcanite here. Is something wrong on Mariel? No. Seems like it's still delivering Vulcanite core fragments. We've got 8.5k. We need to double that to get a train to pick it up automatically. I suppose I could temporarily um, temporarily drop the threshold. I, I need to change the threshold in two places to do that. I can't really be bothered. Um, Alright, it is just about time anyway to find a stream to raid. So let's give it a little save first, and uh, it's something to nope. look at in motion while that happens. Here are some nuclear plants. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Thanks for dropping by. All right, Factorio. Uh, we raided Spectrum Nest yesterday. That one's German. How long has it been since we raided Mucky? Let's just raid Mucky. Actually, last time I tried to raid Mucky, uh, the raid broke. So let's make it up. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints of the Discord if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, let me know. And uh, see you next time. Take care, Veldak. How many hours have you been playing this world? Uh, it is 14 and a half days. All right, take care, guys. Well, it's, that also might be up. set might be set up to filter for that. Yeah. T Hex, thank you for the rate of seventy eight. Yeah, well as soon as you've got one item in there, there's uh, like an implied filter.